front here is just a boot tray for my husband's work boots and work or regular shoes. This um, wall hanging and this one here, we actually did together at a workshop. So we have those by the front door. We have a little entryway table. Picture frames are down there right now because um, I wanted to do a gallery wall here, but we have plaster and it's proving to be difficult to hang things in plaster or on plaster. So I'm leaving that for now. Um, but here we have a little bowl and it's got just keys and sunglasses and stuff like that. And then right through here is our bedroom. So the master bedroom, obviously. <laughs> and this is our bed. So this frame, it's king size and I got it secondhand off of Marketplace and I just painted it with charcoal chalk paint. Um, and then we have curtains hung up and I hung the curtain rods um, higher than the actual windows just to make it seem like the windows were bigger. There's our bedside tables. Yeah, Steve's side is a little bit of a mess. <laughs> he likes to have snacks and a little beer fridge by his bedside. And by mine, I just have a little basket with some important documents and my diffuser, some oils, Mom, and a picture and frame. I got these little signs off of Marketplace. I like his beard. I like her butt. <laughs> and yeah, I'll just show you this window. So it's actually tiny and it looked really weird when we had curtains hung right like right above it but when I raised it and set up the curtains like this it looked so much better because it was more in line with the bed and then over here so here is my dresser and it has our tv on it and we got this tv secondhand there's my tripod for filming over here is my wardrobe so I've just got some like dresses and stuff hung up in there and then those drawers have like bed sheets and I have makeup in one of them. And then at the end of the bed, we have a couple extra blankets and, oh, <laughs> clothes are hanging out. Anyways, I have this chest. I intended it to be a toy chest for the kids, but it worked really well. Man, crumbs, like real life. It works really well for, you know, those clothes that you don't really want to fold and put away again or hang up again, but you're going to wear them before you wash them. So they go in there. <laughs> so a lot of the clothes that I wear every day are in here. And this is actually Steve's dresser. It needs to be dusted. <laughs> but that's where a lot of his clothes go. And I put my makeup on here. At our old house, I had this, uh, I had my makeup and stuff on here. But our new TV wouldn't fit on this small dresser. So that's there. And then we have this closet. It's a weird closet. It's really shallow. So we haven't really put anything in it yet. There, those are bags I still need to go through, but we were gonna put up a tension rod or something and then just hang some of Steve's clothes in there, but I think we're gonna need to get smaller hangers. So yeah, that is the master bedroom. I just can't get enough of the king size bed. Love it. I don't know how we were in a queen before. I love this huge window too and the really long curtains. Just makes the room seem bigger and fresher, but yeah. Uh, eventually it would be really cool to put like French doors in here and then we could go straight out to the deck porch. You have a loaf of bread. And then moving straight through here is the living room. So we have this section all my parents gave us. It's ugly, <laughs> but it's actually super awesome with kids and cats. Um, cats destroy like everything, as do kids. So we're going to keep this until they're a bit older and we can get something nicer. We have really nice bay windows in here. I love all the light that they let in and this window here too. And But this coffee table was made by my husband's brother for his girlfriend and then she gave it back to him when they broke up so he had nowhere to put it. So we took it. Um, it's okay for now but I don't think we're gonna keep it because it's kind of like a, it's raw wood on top and so the kids have been drawing on it, spilling things on it. You can see how kind of gross it is. But I do like this style. I'm gonna get one exactly the style and then just put my tray and baskets underneath. Yeah, there's birds. Um, I've got another diffuser here in Google Home Mini. So this is my work desk. I have my printer under here, a couple little signs and stuff. Uh, this table is a little high for this chair. I'm probably going to get new legs on it. And I just painted it white to make it look a little bit nicer. But yeah, I really like this. And I think at Christmas, we'll take this out and put the tree here and the table we can put in the kitchen for like when we have our big Christmas dinner and stuff. And then I, this is the fireplace. So I just have some oh, Noah's half eaten waffle there. Like, oh man. We have the TV above the fireplace, got some Paw Patrol going. And then I have these shutters. I bought them off the original owner and just put a lantern and a couple birds in front of there. Got a little message board here. 
we have some pictures displayed here and in here we've got so we have a junk drawer another random drawer drawer full of cds and then all of our books and photo albums are in here so that's really nice i was able to get rid of all of our bookshelves when we moved because there's tons of built-in storage so that is really awesome because bookcases take up a ton of room so yeah and then that is the door to the kitchen and this french door leads back out to where the front entrance is so i'll just go down the hallway so here is another closet should have turned the light on but we're just going to put shelving all the way down and then it'll be a nice pantry that's our dining area so over here is noah's room so here's our main shoe closet shoe and coat closet noah's room and a bathroom so this is just a little powder room but definitely nice to have an extra bathroom um here's noah's room so he's got some books there he's got a car theme going on there's his little toddler bed and I have plastic drawers for him. So those hold clothes and more toys and a couple other clothes because I don't trust him with the dresser. He's got a bunch of toys here. I need to figure out some kind of storage solution for his toys. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Uh, maybe more of these, but I just find these don't hold lots of heavy things very well. They're fine for clothes and things like that, but for like shoes or toys, it just doesn't work. Yeah, there's his bed. He's got a little car mat here. There's this closet, that's a Halloween costume in there. Lots of bedding and stuff jammed up there. And more toys. So yeah, I really need some kind of storage solution. But yeah, oh, and then he's got this little calendar of cars. So yeah, here, I'll show you the closet. So we're gonna be building some kind of storage in here. Like we're gonna put in coat storage on this side and like build shoe shelving on this side. Right now they're just in bins, <laughs> it's a mess, but yeah. And then this is the kitchen, which is pretty messy right now because we had a baby shower yesterday and I haven't finished doing all the dishes. I've done like three or four loads already and it's still a mess. So it's what it is. But here is the dining area. So I have my china cabinet with my chip and dip sets up top. I have one more that's being washed. Um, got some other party stuff up there. And all my Pyrex. So I've got this table. Oh, Noah took one of the chairs. And this table actually has a leaf in it too, which is nice. Um, and it's gonna be my project this summer to refinish it. I'm gonna be sanding it down and painting or probably restaining the top, make it nice. Um, but yeah, this bench, I, I, I was looking for a bench for a while and I found it at Valley Village for 20 bucks. So I grabbed it. And as I said, I'll be refinishing it. This table used to be my mom's. Now it's mine. <laughs> Bought these chairs secondhand. These two came from my Nana. Here. I've just got a couple cups because it drives me nuts when the kids are always climbing on the counter to get cups. So I just have that. Man, you can see it, all the paint stains on this table. So yes, that's why I will be refinishing it. And then here's the kitchen. Like I said, it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> we want to replace the countertops, maybe with like a marble effect laminate or something like that. Got all my Epicure spices, fridge. Yeah, don't mind the mess, but nice white cabinets that go all the way up to the top. Chalkboard above the sink, stainless appliances which is really nice more bird stuff <laughs> i have my meal planning thing there and i do write meals for every week up there i've got all my jars from shopping as zero waste as i can my kitchen aid i'm saving egg cartons for a school project of isla's i think um this is my little coffee cart so this used to be my parents tea wagon growing up and they weren't using it, it was sitting in the garage. So I took it and I chalk painted it and waxed it and distressed it. So now it's being used. I know a lot of people don't like it when antiques get painted, but this was just sitting in the garage, not being used. So now it is, so I think that's good. Here's the laundry room. Yeah, we, laundry is folded in seven to 10 business days around here. Cat litter box, lovely. This is my sock storage. So we were having a lot of issues with socks until I came up with this. So I bought this bin. All of Steve and I's socks go on one side. Carter and Isla's in the middle because they wear the same socks and Noah's here. I don't match them or anything like that. I just toss them in here as I sort through laundry and then we dig through for pairs or we wear mismatched pairs. Yeah, that's that. And this is our main bathroom. So nice vanity, keep our toothbrushes here. Nice renovated shower. I really like the tile in here. It's really nice. Oh, fly. And some storage on the side. I have some extra like food and stuff that didn't fit anywhere. It's a cute little sign. There's our backyard. Lots of outdoor toys that need to be organized and stuff. 
I love the yard. We have a couple of blueberry bushes right there. I like how it's half concrete, half grass because it's easier maintenance for Steve or me and they can ride bikes on the concrete. So they love that. Here, right, I have the vacuum in here and I'm just keeping extra pantry items in here. Once we finish the pantry in the hallway, I'm gonna make this a Tupperware, like bento box storage thing. And then here I'll keep like my zero waste shopping stuff. I will keep um, like the bin that I keep my jars and stuff in and all my reusable shopping bags in there, I think. So just some basic patio furniture and barbecue. I'm just gonna go and show the upstairs. Yeah, so these are all the leftover balloons from the baby shower. They were gonna pop them all and I was like, well, the kids might as well have a little bit of fun with them. So this massive balloon arch here, I'm like, oh yeah. If I were in charge of decorations, there would not have been balloons, but it's fine. And we've got this framed. This picture came with a puzzle of Carter's. So I just framed it in a little gold frame. There's a picture of them from our wedding. And over here, I just have this cute little picture for Isla. Just a dog found it at Dollarama. Here I've got some of their random stuff. So school things that are kept in there, forms to hand in, library books, um, Isla stuff from dad's, Carter's from mom's, keeps things organized, chore charts that we haven't been using because I must say I prefer the laminated ones that I can just write on. Here's Isla's room, she has the biggest room. We are still planning on painting. So we're gonna be painting our room downstairs like this nice purplish gray called Greylock. Isla's is gonna be like a light green and the boys are going to be like a medium brown. But yeah, so here's Isla's bed. And this bed actually came from, it was my in my Nana's guest room. And then it was my sister's for a while. And then it was in our garage for quite a while. And now it's Isla's. And she has, she can pull out a trundle underneath. So she likes to use that for a stuffy bed and when she gets old enough for sleepovers and stuff, she's eight now, she can use that. Um, and there's a bunch of her dog stuffies. And dog cushions, she's a little obsessed. Over here, so her closet is there. Um, over here is the dresser. We got this second hand for 20 bucks, which was nice. And dollhouse, prepare for the amount of stuffies. <laughs> so we had this before in the old house, but we had it pink and red. And I painted it blue. Here is Isla's desk, which is a bit of a mess. There's her laptop for playing Minecraft. This desk also came from my Nana's house and the chair. So that's pretty cool. Nice window. Then just a pile of dirty clothes that needs to be washed. Oh yeah. And this little bedside table had been sitting in our garage and I just painted it with the same blue chalk paint that I used on the stuffy zoo and put in a new handle. She's got some books down there, and this is her diffuser. It's a Young Living diffuser. They're discontinued now, but I found one second hand, which is cool. And then over here to Carter's room. So there's his laundry basket, and his name is there. This dresser, this came from Steve's mom's. It was just sitting in their garage, and we put new knobs on it. And his diffuser's there. This desk I got for 20 bucks off of Marketplace. And it's nice for him to have somewhere to store his puzzles and do puzzles and stuff. That is attic space, so he can't go in there. This bed came from my parents. And it was in my sister's room for a while. It's a nice antique bed. Yeah, really, really pretty bed. So here's their playroom. So this is the space where they can be messy. So they've got these fold-up chairs. And they have a TV with Super Nintendo, a Wii, and... Um, Amazon, an Amazon Fire Stick. There's a closet in there that has a bench for like reading and stuff if they want. They have fold out couches here too. This is where their toys are stored. So I have them all labeled. Dinos, Lego, Lego, blocks, food, toy food, magnets, connects, tracks, Duplo, dollhouse stuff and other random toys get stored in there and books are here. I need some kind of bookshelf for them because that box at the end of the hall is all books. And in this bin is just random big toys. <laughs> There's all these little bits of Lego and stuff that need to be cleaned up in here. Um, and then in here is a dress up bin. Just random costumes that we've saved from Halloween and stuff to have a dress up bin. There's an easel in the corner with a bin that has like markers and um, what's it called chalk and stuff. So yeah, that's the house tour. Thanks for watching.